what is up you guys welcome back to another video so today um so if you've been following me on instagram or here actually posted on here um i've been on prep for the last now nine months and i have this um food venture checklist which is basically just stuff that i've seen online since i've been on prep that obviously i haven't been able to have um and i made a food venture checklist um i'll go ahead and put it on here so you guys can kind of see where it's at um so this week i'm actually taking like a diet break per se um so i get a couple cheap meals a couple things that i can have and i decided to you know check off some stuff from my food venture checklist so um this is going to be an entire series this is the first video of the series so there's going to be a lot of food in this particular playlist i hope you guys are ready for that but anyway, we're going to start out today with, um, it's called Wow Donuts and Drips. So ever since I moved to Texas, I've been looking for uh, a donut spot that matches California donuts in LA or Colorado donuts in LA or Pink Box Donuts in Las Vegas um, or Donut Bar in San Diego. <laughs> I've been to a lot of donut places. But anyway, I have yet to find a place that's like good, you know, like actual donuts, actual specialty donuts, that kind of thing. So today we are trying Wild Donuts and Drips. It's um, on Lover's Lane in Dallas, Texas. I was in the area, so I figured I'd take advantage. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I can film him there. I'm gonna try, but let's go see what they got. It's my first time here, so. Okay, so if I'm being completely honest, this place looked a lot cooler online, so I don't know what to expect, but, you know, we're here, we're gonna try it, and maybe, you know, looks can be deceiving. So, let me show you guys what I got. So this is the box, Wow Donuts and Drips. Um, I got three, I got, oh, well. I got a Oreo Mochi Nut. I've actually never had a mochi donut, so I'm pretty excited to try that. This is going to be their s'mores, and then that's a Nutella. So they look pretty basic, um, so let's find out. So I'm going to start off with the mochi donut, just because I've never had one. Um, that's what it looks like from the back. I don't know what I'm supposed to expect from these, because I've never seen them before, never had one. So let's see. If I can <laughs> so right off the bat my biggest thing with donuts is the cakiness of it like they're not yeasty enough it's supposed to be a yeast donut you know fried um, but I don't know if mochi nuts are supposed to be like this so mm. there's no flavor like, absolutely no flavor. <laughs> At all. I'm, I'm very disappointed in that. <sighs> okay, let me try one more little ball before I completely, like, shut it out. Mm. I got a little bit of cream cheese on that. Not it. Not it at all. All right. Um, let's go with the s'mores. That's a graham cracker cookie. So this is their s'mores. Looks like it's filled. So it looks like it has, I think it's cream cheese. Some type of frosting chocolate and then I think those are graham crackers on top so here we go you know what it is <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now <laughs> the dough is like there's no flavor in the dough It's very, very, like, very well filled. Like, 
see that? So that's good, but there's just no flavor in the dough. Right, I'm going to try it like that bite right there. Making a mess. Mm. That tasted very um like campfirey. So that was good, but there's no flavor in the dough. <laughs> okay. Maybe third time's the charm. This is their Nutella donut. He did say it was filled. Um Trying to see. I'll bite it first and then I'll open it. Same thing. There's no flavor in the dough. Okay, so there's the filling. I'm going to put this cream cheese stuff here. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Like, okay. Mm. The frosting is good. But, I don't know if you guys can see the dough. It's not what a donut's supposed to look like. It's like not even... Mm -mm. I'm not... It's not worth it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> First video of the Food Venture Checklist is a fail just wasn't it like there's no flavor in the dough like the dough isn't even sugary I feel like it should be because you know it's a fucking dessert <laughs> I'm so mad um the toppings are cool the s'mores donut I did get that like campfire smoke fire whatever the fuck you want to call it flavor to it so that was good I guess Frosting is like whatever. The Nutella donut just tastes like a basic chocolate glazed bread. Not even glazed. Like, it's not even glazed. It's so dry. Like, you guys can see, like, there's nothing on the dough. Like, not even glaze. <laughs> All right. Wow, donuts. I am wowed at the fact that you guys suck. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe I uh, got the wrong ones, but the dough is basically the same uh, flavor for all of them, so I'm going to assume that all of the other ones would have been the same flavor as well. So, anyway, that is video number one of the Food Venture Checklist. Um, I have a couple cheat days this week, so I'll see if I get some more in. Otherwise, most of these will happen once I finish competing. I am competing one more time this year before we call it and go back into off-season. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you are in Dallas, I mean, maybe you'll like them. Honestly, I would not recommend. Like, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. It's not worth it. Um, i much rather go to like a mom and pop shop and get like a regular glazed donut and it probably tastes a lot better than that so wild donuts you have failed i'm sorry anyway if you guys like the video go ahead and like subscribe comment all that fun stuff if you've had wild donuts and you had a different donut and you liked it let me know maybe i'll come back once i'm back in off season or something and give it another shot but considering that i am on prep and my diet is very strict. I would assume that, you know, stuff usually tastes good. But this, this is not it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>